Hey guys, what's up? It's Noah here from yourappleplays.com, and I have a behind-the-scenes uh, Mac tutorial. Um, so if you have a firmware password, um, which is a good idea to have, especially um, if you checked out my Undercover for Mac review, um, I think that might have been on my other channel, App Review Man. Um, it's so... You, well, if, if your computer would happen to be stolen, uh, the uh, the intruder couldn't uh, boot from a different device, hard drive, or anything. Uh, reset your password. Um, it pretty much secures the behind the scenes of your computer so that you can end up getting it back by having it tracked. Um, but a problem with this is, is if you need to troubleshoot, um, and you know you know all the uh, buttons to hold down in startup, like you. Turn off the computer. When you hear the max sound, you hold down shift. That will enter you into safe mode. But if you have that password on, you are unable to. Um, and a quick note here, quick side note. To put a form firmware password on, uh, you're going to want to insert your Mac OS disk that you either got with your computer or you bought separately for an upgrade. Um, you're going to want to put it in there, uh, start up, hit... Uh, option and then hit the disk and eventually it'll come up with utilities and you're going to hit firmware password and you can set that up all through that. Um, now you don't need a firmware password uh, just to regularly boot up. You don't need to type it in every time you turn the computer on. Um, let's say if you want to boot to boot camp there and you need to type it in. So I mean it doesn't really bother me that much but I don't know for everyone else. But um, what you're going to want to do um, you're in Mac here. Obviously, you can see my desktop. Um, you're going to want to open up Terminal. So if you go to Spotlight, you hit Terminal, or you can open up your applications and go to Utilities, and you'll find Terminal in there. Uh, so let's let Terminal start up here. Okay. Now, here I have a text file. Um, I'll put right here. Um, and what it has is the commands that you type in to do the um, safe mode startup. So you're going to want to type in sudo nvram space boot dash args equals and then the parentheses minus x parentheses. Um, that's verbose mode. Uh, verbose mode, you would have to type a V instead of X. Um, and I'm not quite sure what the difference is. I believe it just makes it a little bit more secure. Um, but what safe mode will do is if you have a troublesome application or setting, hardware setting maybe, when starting up in start mode, it'll check all your hardware, all your software to make sure it is correct. And if not, it'll automatically change it. So pretty much, once you're in, uh, once you're in a safe mode and you it starts up successfully, you can just get off of it if it's a problem. Um, unless you want it, you know, just to do something speedy real quick, um, it'll you know disable all the unnecessary applications that are needed to run. So you're gonna hit enter. You need to type in your password. Okay, then all you need to do is restart, and it'll automatically start right into safe mode. Um, now, what you're going to have to do is, after using safe boot, to return to a normal startup, execute this command. Um, so you're going to want to type in sudo nvrm boot dash args equals, and then just two parentheses, and you're back to normal startup. So it's real easy. Um, but, you know, it might be necessary to have sometimes. Um, so right here, I will save this. Uh, safe mode, start up, and determine now. Okay, I'll save that to my desktop here. And if you guys want to head over to yourappleplays.com, I will have that. Um, file uploaded for you guys to use. Um, just be sure to copy and paste the title of this um, 
tutorial in the search options and you shall find the post with this video in it and the text file attached so you have it um, and you can just copy and paste it in if you don't want to type it in so that's all I have for you guys today don't forget to check out the website subscribe to this channel for the giveaways and check us out on twitter at your twitter dot com slash your apple place that's all I have for you guys and I will see you later